So this is going to be the first in the series of lectures on CQRS and event sourcing uh, application building it using Azon framework. So this is going to be a simple application but it's going to be a complete end-to-end -end application as you can see. So basically if I click on order one and I confirm the order and I can just refresh the page and you can see uh, that the order appears in the list of orders that have been placed. So, this is how it works. When you create an order, this order is created and immediately an event is also uh, triggered that actually goes to the product stock and update the product stock as you can see. So when I play the first order, you can see that the stock reduced to 99 and we have one order that has been placed here. So this is how it works and I taken, I've taken some time to build it to clarify all the concepts uh, to build this application and I recommend you stick with me because this is uh, one way you can learn uh, CQRS which is an architecture that is very very important for now. So if you are joining me for the first time, if you are a developer, a software engineer, a programmer, uh, so subscribe to my channel and stick with me. Let's do this together because I've actually broken it down. It took me a long time to be able to figure out an easy way to explain this. So here you are going to be learning about Axon Framework, Axon Server, Spring Boot, Spring Cloud, and you are going to learn a few other things like Time Leaf and um, uh, a few other things I'm going to explain. So this is actually how the architecture looks like. So if I um, enlarge this by uh, viewing it, so you can see this is the Axon Framework CQRS architecture. Um, this is going to be really clear in this tutorial we are going to be going through. Actually, this uh, application I'm using for this demo is based on a textbook I've been reading on microservices. So this textbook you see, you probably have come across this textbook that says Practical Microservices Architectural Pattern. Now, this demo is taken from chapter 11 of this textbook. If I can get to the page, that would be great. So, it's taken from chapter 12 of this textbook. But if, if you are reading this textbook and you are trying to learn microservices, you'll find it difficult to run the applications and codes in this textbook because it's based on Axon Framework 2.4, or an older version of Axon Framework and an older version of Spring as well. So, you are going, you are going to run into problems if you are running the applications in this book or if you try to actually run them. So this is why I've taken some time to clarify. After now, I'm going to also write in uh, the, the other codes and the different chapters on this textbook here in this, uh, in this channel. So if you are learning microservices using this textbook, for now this is a very good textbook for microservices, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges, reach out to me. This is what I do and I'm going to give you the support you need uh, as soon as I can. So this is how we are going to do it. For now, we are going to start right from the scratch. The IDE we are going to be using for this class, it will be IntelliJ IDE. So if you look at the, the project, this is what is running right now, and this is what we are going to be building. You see that there are five different, uh, five different packages, the API, controllers, queries, read model, and write model. And this roughly corresponds to this architecture you see right here, okay? And you can also try to recognize that we have read model and write model, and here we have read DB and write DB. So if you are learning CQRS, you learn to think in terms of two different uh, data models that actually synchronize with each other. So if you learn to think this way, it will become a bit clearer for you. I'll be clarifying and explaining as I go. Again, this is not a theoretical class. It's going to be a completely practical class. I've also made a procedure, a step-by-step -step procedure on what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to actually be following this procedure I put up here in my website, but there are some details I'll be explaining in the video that is not explained in the step-by-step -step in the website. So I recommend you complement the two, the code, uh, the, 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 the video by explanation here, and also the step-by-step -step in the website. And that will make you uh, get the best out of your learning, uh, your learning experience in of Axon Framework. So let's go ahead to get started. Again, as a reminder, if you have challenges, 
let me know because this is how we are going to be uh, writing our programs or building applications in the future. In fact, it is now. And subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed, and let's just do this together. So let's go ahead to get started right to get started right now. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close uh, everything and let's start from the scratch. So let me just stop this from running, and I'm going to close everything, and we are going to start from the scratch. 